Hey gang, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, we're back in Reverie. Uh, this time uh, doing a small project. Uh, we're gonna upgrade our BNG software. Uh, from a previous video, I had some requests because the, the BNG software when we did the upgrade didn't quite take it because we weren't doing it right. So I'm gonna show you how to do it right this time. So what you see here are the Trident 2 um, BNG, uh, these are the small multifunction displays. And uh, I typically use this for wind direction, temperature, and depth. And on this side, we have a Vulcan 12. Now, the Vulcan 12, we can upgrade uh, via the internet, or if we're connected in a network where I have a, a laptop or a, um, an iPad that has the, the upgrade software, uh, I can bring that information over. But, on the Triton 2, the only way to do that upgrade is using a USB stick. Now this stick has to be uh, formatted FAT32 uh, or regular FAT format, basically MS-DOS. And you have to have the instruments off before you uh, put the drive on and after you plug the drive then you turn them on and you're going to see how the upgrade works. The BNG file comes on a SIP format. When you open this file, it creates a folder with the same name. Inside that folder, you're going to have all the UPD files, which are the update files, and some checksum files. So what you have to do is select all of those files and copy them to the root of your thumb drive. So you don't create a directory or anything like that. You simply copy the files over and you're pretty much ready to go. Now, I don't have uh, easy access to the back of my uh, Trident display, so I'm going to dismount them from the bulkhead. Basically, stick your nail on a corner and gently pull the ring out. Careful you don't break it. A nail or a very small screwdriver to get it out. There you go. Now, after that, there's only four screws, one on each corner that holds the unit uh, in place. To an even smaller screwdriver. Works better. Okay, we have the end of this mounted. Now we have to open the service port. And for that, you can use the, the coin or a, a big flathead screwdriver. All right. Basically, what you have is a USB port. I'm going to connect my USB. All right, that's pretty much it. Now I gotta go power the unit. Okay, power the unit up. Now it says update in progress. And you can see the bar. Now one thing to remember is that you have to copy the files themselves to the root of that USB drive. Meaning when you download from BNG, the software update, is going to come in a zip file when you open the zip file it's going to have a folder with a handful of files what you have to do is take all the files from that folder and copy it copy them to the root of the thumb drive that way when the unit starts uh it'll see them and it'll start the update automatic well this is going we have a beautiful day Carmen's here in the boat with me. Say hi. <laughs> so we're just enjoying a nice little quiet morning. Uh, she's been kind enough to keep me company while I'm messing around with this stuff. Now this is update complete. Please remove the USB drive to finish. Remove the USB drive. And the unit does a, I guess, a restart. Everything in Reverie is connected via NEMEA 2000 network. So the reason I know this needed an update is because the Vulcan kept giving me a warning that there was an upgrade available for this unit. Unfortunately, this is the only way to update this unit. Hopefully in the future, uh, BNG will make it so they can be upgraded via the network. Okay, the unit is back on and it's working properly so i'm going to remount this and do the same thing with the bottom unit okay update complete 
All right, to confirm that everything is working good, we're going to go to the Triton. We're going to hit the, the menu twice so we can get into the setup screen. We're going to go to Network, Device List, and we're going to see the two Triton units in here. Touch one and the software version. That's our latest and greatest that we just uh, finished installing. Let's check the second one. Same thing. So now our units are uh, up to speed. One last thing we're doing today is uh, loading up a route that I created on my Navionics app on my phone uh, to the BNG Vulcan. Now I have CMAPs on my system, so I wanted to see if I could create routes on Navionics app, which I use on my mobile devices, but I can transfer those routes over to the BNG uh, system. Now, the CMAP app doesn't take into account your boat settings. So I draw 310, I have a 50 foot mass. So, uh, you know, those things uh, have an impact on the route uh, that you're planning because you cannot go under low bridges and things like that. So the Navionics uh, mobile app does take that into account when you're planning a route. I wanted to see if I could create the routes on Navionics and load them up on the Vulcan uh, BNG and I was able to do that. And let me show you how I did it. All right, so from the Navionics app, we're going to select route at the bottom of the screen. And that's going to open a window to let you choose which type of route you want to do. So do you want to do an automatic route, a manual route, or you want to look at your archives? For this exercise, we're just doing a quick uh, automatic route. So we're going to select that. And then that's going to take us to the screen where we select our starting point. And we're going to basically just type real quick Tropic Isles Marina. And we're going to select that. And for the destination, we're going to pick Cortez. Uh, again, this is just quickie. So now you see the screen. So now I'm going to save that route. And it's saving it under route number one. So to get the route out, we're going to use the button that says select. We're going to select the route. You can select more than one route. And with that, we're going to use that little box with the arrow on top for the export. When we click on that, we're going to select export a GPX file. At this point, the system is going to ask you which app or how do you want to transfer the file. So from here, we can select BNG and go straight to the BNG app. The system then opens up inside of the BNG app and is going to ask us if we want to import the data. Now, uh, notice that it only brings places and routes. It will not bring tracks. Once we click on import, it's going to say successfully imported. And at this point, we can close this window. Now, to confirm that the route came in properly, we can go to the main screen, select routes from the, the menu. And that is going to show us our route one now imported into the BNG app. Once that route is into the BNG app, then we can sync the BNG app with the uh, BNG Vulcan uh, using the, the Wi-Fi. Okay, once that data is loaded into the BNG app, it's easy to sync to the BFG MFD. So the way you do that, I'm here in my Vulcan 12. I already have the routes on the BNG app, so I'm going to hit this twice. You go into Setup, go to Services, Sync My Data. And what this is doing is synchronizing your Waypoint routes and track with the BNG mobile app. So once you get them into the BNG mobile app, you can hit Synchronize Now. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. Then from there, to confirm that I got them, Tap the, well, you know, the square box is here once. You can tap waypoints. And you can have waypoints, routes, and tracks. So I'm going to hit routes. And here are all the routes that I just got done importing. So if I want to see the route to Tropic House to Edmund Key, it's going to show me all the, the waypoints. 
I can either hit start or I can hit predict win. So if you have predict win integrated into your chart plotter, then you can get a weather style route. So I'll give you, uh, it'll take weather into account for your route. All right, when you do your import of the routes, you know, when you synchronize a DNG app with the, with the Vulkan, um, which is going to go to the BNG app, pull out any updates on routes and waypoints and bring them over to the display here. Uh, what's going to do is it's going to bring everything in display mode, which means it's going to show you every single thing that you brought over um, on the display. So I, I've already shut off quite a few, but here you can see there's two different routes uh, active or not active, but just basically showing on the display. Now, if you're if you have routes where you're basically going out like I do out of the same channel and then you diverge, uh, it's probably simpler to uh, uh, basically turn them off, and it doesn't delete them. It's just does not show them on the display, and you can always activate them when you're going to show them on the display. So, you go to your waypoints, go to routes, and then what you do is when you touch the route. Is going to give you an option for display and race if you're racing you would check race but i'm not doing that and display basically is just going to keep it active on the display so i'm going to turn it off and save it so now if i go back to my display it's only going showing me my route to admin key which is the only route i have display on active so from there i can basically start the route and uh, tap on it bring it up, hit start, and it's going to ask me if I want forward or reverse. I'm going to say forward, and basically you see it was green for a second, and then basically it turns that active, which is the kind of orangey color, but it puts the big circles. So now I can follow that route, or I can turn the, if, you know, if I have an autopilot connected, I can turn to the autopilot, if it's a BNG autopilot. Um, I have a Raymarine wheel autopilot, so I have to follow a different process, uh, but it's too long for this video, so I'll, I'll show that on a separate video. But for now, now you know how you can import out of your um, BNG, uh, not BNG, but your Navionics app where you can design your routes offline and then import them into your uh, Vulkan uh, display. So with that, folks, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we're sharing all the information on everything we're doing on Reverie all of our projects and updates, and hopefully you'll find this video helpful to you. I know I promised I would do one uh, on this topic, and I'm going to do another one on how we connect our Raymarine wheel autopilot into the Vulcan unit. So with that, thank you for watching, and see you soon.